Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Dallas Vintage Toys Live. It's Thursday, February 13th, 2020. I'm here with owner Sean, the founder, the original, the original employee. He's the boss man. He owns every toy you're about to see. Sean, how are you today? Great. About to list some more stuff. Been going over some emails. Literally hundreds. Getting those quotes out. Hundreds so. of emails. Turns out people want to sell you toys. And as soon as I send the emails, they reply right back. Yeah, they're like, oh, it's money. Emails. See, the thing about Dallas Finish Toys, and this is something we stress all the time, is we don't just sell. Uh, we also trade toys and we buy toys. Uh, a lot of the toys that you see on our Dallas Finish Toys website uh, were sold to us by collectors like you and enthusiasts from all around the country. Um, and we buy toys locally. We even buy them from um, from anywhere. So it's if you have awesome UK toys you want to uh, sell, Singapore, just send uh, Sean an email, right? That's Sean, S-H-A-U-N, at DallasFinishToys.com. So from if you have something... From collectors like you. From collectors like you. So if you want money uh, for your toys that you're tired of sitting on the shelf or in the box or in Grandma's attic or whatever, give us a call. Um, we, we, we pay great. And that's the reason why we have so many toys, if you've looked around. This is not some coincidence. It's because we actually uh, pay good money for good toys. Uh, and people know that, which is why uh, we keep... So I've uh, seen Sean... Write many, many checks that would make you blush. Bigger checks uh, than, uh, for toys, and if they're worth it, they're worth it. So. Somebody brought some Mandalorian. Oh, baby, today. get in here! Look, look, look at this. Are these uh, these are going to be for sale here shortly, right? And they, these aren't restocking uh, till next month uh, at retail, right? So if you want one of these now. Up, but, uh, yeah, we got those so you want some Mandos? Got your Mandos on deck. But my question for you, live viewers is number one is will you share this stream uh, in your favorite toy Facebook group or on your profile? And number two is what do you want to see and where are you watching from? That was three questions. So has anybody made a request of what, what they want to see? How about I show them what I'm about to add to the website today? Hold that request, we're gonna get right to you. But Sean wants to show you something. Follow us along. We're going behind the curtain, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. What do we got here? These are, uh, this guy actually worked in Mattel as an engineer, so his toys are in like really good look condition. Look how look how clean that looks so pristine. That's a complete loot. Uh, so these are all going on DallasFinishToys.com later today. Oh uh, yeah, like uh, these oops, oh. sold. Yeah. <laughs> so these still have like the decals unapplied in there, and like everything's like wrapped in plastic. How he had everything in there. So look how nice that Cobra Condor is. is. That's complete. Uh, are we gonna do a Jared's epic bubble bath? I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I. My hair just fell out. <laughs> yeah. So we got some uh, Ninja Turtles, uh, Anthrax. Oh, fine. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, we got the uh, Foot Locker, the space one, a little bit rare. We got another party wagon. Uh, that's the 1967 Green Hornet uh, lunchbox. It's got the. Uh, Thermos still in there. It looks like it's barely used. Um, we have uh, a well completed, a uh, box rattler, Razorback, uh, a few other vehicles, um, uh, yeah, Dagobah, some other stuff. So Nice. Well, what was the first request that we got? Transformers Earthrise Starscream. A Transformers Earthrise Starscream. That's very specific. Um, I bet you I'll know who knows that. Yeah. Trevor, you know anything about a Transformers Earthrise Starscream? We do not have that yet. We don't have that yet. Is that new? Sorry. Brand new? Sorry. We don't have that yet. Next question. Marvel Legends. Right this way. <laughs> so, this is an extremely popular toy line here at Dallas Finish Toys. As you can see, we have hundreds and hundreds of brand new Marvel Legends right here on the pegs. Uh, these are from different years. Some of them um, are, you know, out right now. Some of these um, have been out for, uh, for months or even years in some cases. So we have hundreds to choose from here. Uh, we also have uh, some more notable collectible ones you can find on DallasFinishToys.com, and plus we have certified pre-owned. That's a, that's from my, my that's from the car world, but we have certified pre-owned Marvel Legends over here. So if you want a bargain, you don't mind buying an uh, action figure that's maybe been uh, gently loved 
uh, we have hundreds and hundreds more here on the pegs. So whether you're looking for brand new in the box, slightly used on a peg, or the more collectible and desirable uh, models on DallasFinishToys.com, the DVT is definitely uh, your source for Marvel Legends. So um, I don't know how much more proof you need, but we got it. What else? SH Figure Arts Star Wars. Figure Arts Star Wars. I think we have one or two over here. Let's see. Thank you. All we have is the Luke Skywalker right now. All right, let's take a look at this. This old Lukey. Um, and I, I, I guess it, I guess they're doing a build a figure because it comes with it comes with an Anakin head. Get in there. Get in real good. Get in real good there. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's cool. And uh, if you like some of that kanji on there, we got some of that uh, some of them, some Japanese that we know is definitely from Japan. And on the website, we have we have a uh, Chewbacca figure arts and a Force Awakens. Uh, Stormtrooper. Okay, so, so we got a couple available on DallasFinishToys.com right mm -hmm. now, and then we have one available in store. So we have we have a handful, a, sh a smittering, a smittering, shlew. A sh a, not a slew, no, 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 a, a, a spaddle, <laughs> a spaddle. All right. So what's the next question? GI Joe. GI Joe. I wonder if we have anything right this way. GI Joe. Next question. Like, show me the toys. Okay. Um, <laughs> what toys? Yeah. What toys? Yeah. Really? Everywhere. Okay. So listen. Uh, let me just be really frank with you, live viewer. We have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of G.I. Joes uh, from as far back as the 60s um, all the way to the most modern releases and everything in between. We have a ton of 1982 to 1994 uh, G.I. Joes, vehicles, playsets. So just to give you a sample, a little teensy sample of what we have, um, you could take a look, Jessica, if you just want to get in and show them all four shelves here. And we'll just uh, let them scan over that as we're looking. So here in the actual showroom, uh, we have different vehicles uh, and different guys that are out. Um, you know, so some of the more popular uh, vehicles, but we don't even have a way to display all the GI Joe we have because we just have too much. That's part of the reason why we're opening our new store later this summer. That'll be uh, exponentially larger than the store that we have today. We're gonna take the title of the largest toy store in North Texas uh, with our new location. So we have loads and loads of uh, GI Joe uh, here in the case, I could show you some more over here if you want some uh, different modern reissues, commemorative editions. So something like this, like like a Python Patrol uh, reissue, things like that. Um, some of the, like, this is like the, the 90s 12 inch uh, reissues, stuff like that that came out. We have that um, anniversary edition stuff, um, like the, like the G.I. Joe 50th, uh, stuff like that. So it just goes on and on and on with, with, with G.I. Joe. Uh, and if you want the really good good, like the good good good, you need to hit up DallasVintageToys.com. I'm going to say this 25 times during this live broadcast because I really want to get it into your head. We're not on eBay. Forget eBay. We jumped off eBay. Uh, we don't need them. We have our own website, DallasVintageToys.com, and we do free shipping inside the United States on all orders over $100, excluding uh, Hawaii and Alaska, um, which is very cold and very beautiful. Sorry. But the other 48 states, we got you. Spend more than 100 bucks, and we'll ship you your order for free. What's the next question we got? Uh, Fisto to finish Motu collection. Fisto? Yes. From Motu. Um, I think we have the Filmation Fisto. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Fisto. We have, yeah, we have a few of the vintage ones, and all we have is the These are all on Filmation. Yeah, on the website, uh, DallasVintageToys.com, and we have one Filmation Fisto by Super 7. Okay, so mm -hmm. there you have it. Here we, we go. We have that. All right, next up. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Oh, right this yeah. way. So we can show them the McFarlane ones right there. Yeah, so we have some McFarlane Mortal Kombat's here. Um, here's Johnny Cage, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Raiden. This is all, um, you know, Mortal Kombat uh, X, Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, style uh, super modern figures here that we've got here. We've got at least four or five different variations that are in stock right now. These are brand new. Uh, if you want to just get in on that, show those. And then what a lot of people are looking for are the uh, the figure arts, or sorry, the storm, storm collectibles. Excuse me. So we have Sector, Cyrax, Scorpion, Baraka, Smoke, Rain, Ermac, Noob, Cybot. Uh, that are in right now, and we may even have even more on DallasFinishToys.com or no? Uh, we have a uh, Sub Zero on okay. the website. Okay, there's a yeah. Scorpion. One Scorp of those two. Scorpion. We have, we have, we have one on the very different characters, Trevor. Yeah. Yes, we have one on the website. Okay, all right. So okay. you can find that on uh, on DallasFinishToys.com. Yes, so, sir. so we do have a variety of uh, McFarlands and Storm Collectibles in Mortal Kombat, and that changes all the time because people buy them, sell them, trade them in all the time. What's the next question? 
Um, SH Figure Arts, Jiren. Jiren. Jiren? Jiren. Oh, yes, we do. We just got a... Where's he at? He's, he's out here up front, but we actually don't have him here right now. He's just, we just got to restock out the front. So we just got to... He's, he's not on So here. we have him? We do have him. We just got to put him back out here. He's around. We had just sold one, so... Okay. So oh, we got... We, here he is. Oh, wait. Never mind. Hey, a little sneaky hammer. Don't lie to me. Put a little sneaky hammer. There you go. Put it in the back. <laughs> there you go. So here is your SH Figure Arts... Uh, Jiren that you asked for, this is $56.99. It's less than $57. One penny less, but hey, let's call a spade a spade. That's less. So we got Jiren. We got um, a bunch of different SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z. So whatever you're into, we got it. What's next? Transformers G1 Shockwave. Uh, shockwave. Um, I don't think shockwave. You do. Let's see. And he might be on the website because that's a good, that's a goodie good. We, de we definitely don't have one here in this case. No, we don't have G1 Shockwave on the website either. Sold out at the moment. Sorry. Sorry. Um, that's one that's come in and out of the store many times, and it's one that we're very likely to have again. We don't have any at this time. What's next? We got He Man and then Team and T. He Man. Um, so if you want to see Vintage He Man, which a lot of people do, um, we can show them this whole top rack here. You can just slowly scroll there. So again, guys, this is just a small small selection of our in-store uh, on-shelf selection. Mm -hmm. Also, we have a lot more on DallasFinishedToys.com as well as uh, some graded figures back here in the back. Also, just if you like uh, Masters of the Universe at all, it's just worth pointing out um, this nice uh, six-scale He-Man because awesome. the colors and the paint on that is just dope. I can't believe he's still in the store. That's just a really cool-looking figure. Uh, but let me, let me take you guys to the back. He's looking for a Han Solo's Han Solo's come, come on back here. Wait, before we go... Let's show them. Here's the the Masters of the Universe classics, and we have loads and loads and loads uh, of the classics here. If you're into those, also we have the uh, the super size figures, these super giant ones here. These are 89.99. Uh, we have some of these uh, Japanese commemorative box uh, reissues, Super Seven, uh, and then you got these uh, these little mini uh, Panthor and Battle Cats. These are pretty cool too. These are I love the box art on these. They're also Super Seven. Um, we have even more even more in DallasFinishToys.com. I'm going to spare you right now because we could actually do a half hour episode on Just Master of the Universe. So what's the other thing you asked for? TMNT. Okay, so Ninja Turtles. So guys, when we're talking about like what is DVT strong in? Um, Star Wars, Ninja Turtles, um, Masters of the Universe, um, uh, and, and, uh, G.I. Joe. Uh, those four especially uh, would be very, very strong for us. That's, that's something that we have a whole lot of. Um, so here's just a small selection because we have a really epic selection of uh, Ninja Turtles. So here's some modern reissues. You got some um, some obscure stuff from the early mid 90s here. Uh, we're looking at some Star Trek here. Here's some stuff from the early 2000s, some of the 2002 figures here. Then you got some of the Nickelodeon Turtles down here, different vehicles. Um, then you got some of the modern uh, play sets. I mean, look, look at the paint on here. Just just This is just a beautiful figure. These are just nice. You know, they're really well done. Oh, we got a lot of those. Uh, and we come around here. We got, you're probably not even gonna ever see this many in one place. Because these are, look, you got the different steel wheels, the, you got the, the shell speeder, uh, the battle bike. So we've got a lot of these. Uh, these are about 20 years old now. Um, these Playmates from the early 2000s, about 18 years old. Uh, we even have a Ninja Turtles Monster Jam remote control truck. And you know, we're just talking about just a real obscure, you know, Ninja Turtle stuff. We got a lot, a lot. Um, and as much as you're seeing here, this is nothing compared to what you can see. And I'm going to say it again, DallasFinishToys.com. Um, probably the two nicest things that we have for Ninja Turtles right now is we have a um, we have a sealed Technodrome that's graded, and we have a sealed uh, Battle Blimp that's graded. The Technodrome is $3,000, and the Battle Blimp's $1,800. So if you just got money just burning up your pocket and you just want to like you know buy something super epic, we got both of those for you. But they're um, they're I think 80 grades, both of them 80 or 85. So we're talking about nearly pristine. Um, it would be the jewel of any collection. So if you're a really serious Ninja Turtle collector, all the way up to a $3,000 piece and all the way down to a $12 action figure and everything in between, Dallas Man's Toys has got you covered. What's the next question? Captain Planet. He's a hero. Gonna take pollution down to zero. Um, I don't think we have any Captain Planet. I can't. We're so, we're so busy helping customers that I can't even ask one of my team members to help me because we're just doing business here. It's, it's basically the, the greatest day of our lives here because, you know, 
Okay, we got a toy store in an obscure shopping center. Not even shopping center, we're like in an industrial park. But you gotta like find this place. Look. Oh, she, oh, you get to me the iPad. Thank you, dear customer. You need it back though. Okay, oh, is she here? <laughs> here, here. Planet. Let's look. So I'm gonna do what any of you guys could have already done, which is go to DallasFinishToys.com and actually search for it. But that's okay, I love you. And so we're gonna do it anyways. Um, let's see. Planet, Planet of the Apes. Pla oh my goodness. So we have a Captain Wheeler. We've got a Captain Planet Argos Bleak. Well, we got uh, several Captain Planets. Here's a Tiger Captain. Here's a uh, Linka and Slash. Dude, who doesn't want this Linka? Hold on, let's 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 get in. Now this is, now that's nice. You remember Linka? What was her power again? Five points for the first person who can tell me Linka's Captain Planet power. Um, but anyways, uh, the point is that we definitely have brand new uh, Captain Planet figures, remarkably. Um, because, you know, we, we do have a lot of things. Thank you so much. Um, so, yeah. So, if the question is, do we have Captain Planet? The answer is, yes, we do. Where is it at? DallasMinistoys.com. How much is it? You can find out literally on your phone and you type it in and see for yourself. So, what's the next question? Gears of War collectibles. Gears of War. That's modern, but I think we got it. Let's look over here. Gears of War. Gears of War. Gears of War. It'll be over here. Over here. Only a few. Okay. And this isn't all of them, but here's a couple. These look like Storm collectibles to me. Yes. So here's Augustus. I almost named my child that. Just kidding. Uh, and here's Marcus Phoenix. That sounds like a delicious place to get some Tex-Mex. Let's go down to Marcus Phoenix. Get the enchiladas. Um, so here's a couple Storm collectibles. These are $64.99. These are in-store exclusive which means that you're not gonna get them online, which means, sorry, dear viewer, you're gonna to have to get in a, in a car, and some of you, in a, on an airplane, you're gonna to need to come here to Dallas and buy some toys. All right, what's next? Ghostbusters toilet? A Ghostbusters toilet. Um, okay. I think I know what he's talking about. That's an obscure one. Jessica's like, what am I doing? <laughs> like with my life, but um. <laughs> It's a question she asks every day. So, let me see if we got the old Ghostbusters toilet. I don't know about the toilet per se, but we definitely have the Ghostbusters headquarters in the box here. And let's just take a look at this because this is this was the ultimate playset for Ghostbusters. And seeing one in the box here, this is fantastic. Remember the ectoplasm, the gel it went through the ceiling and leaks down. It just gets on everyone. Um, fun toy. I don't know for sure if we have. The toilet or not offhand i really don't but that's one of the toys that came out with the with the ghostbusters line you'll have to check us out on dallasfinishtoys.com what's the next question mezco classic panthro uh, a mezco classic panthro hmm hmm mezco classics panthro Well, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about Mezco Classics Panthro. The guy to ask would be Trevor. Trevor? Trevor's gone. It's over. You know, I'm not sure about a Mezco Classics Panther, guys. I'm sorry. And all of our associates are busy helping other guests at this time. So we're going to have to circle back, back around to that one. What's next? WWF. WWF. Okay, so step over here. So, Jessica, if you could just get in really close on pretty much this whole thing here. So, here is some of our vintage WWF figures that we have here in the store. Um, we have lots and lots of loose ones here to choose from. And if you don't like uh, vintage WWF, we have some of the more modern WWF. Uh, I want to point out that you can come into the store and you can buy them loose like this. So we have them, like if you want like a Roman Reigns in a plastic bag, we definitely got you covered there. So we have uh, hundreds of WWF figures here that have, uh, we've purchased loose. And then if you want brand new ones, uh, we have even more here. So 
Uh, if you look down, there's different uh, versions of boxed figures, carded figures, WWF over the years, um, different eras and stuff that you might be into. We have lots of different elite figures and stuff like that. Uh, and as you might have guessed already, we have even more on DallasFinishToys.com. If there's something especially rare, notable, collectible, we try to put on the website because that's what you guys are after. All right. Uh, oh, show, show them this real quick. This Slim Jim edition Randy Savage, because that's cool. To snap into a Slim Jim, Jessica's like, ah, I might need that. So, um, yeah, you got the Slim Jims, got the Macho Man with the, uh, the cowboy hat and everything. That is actually, the more I look at that, that's pretty cool. We got two of those. The Elite Collection Slim Jim uh, Macho Man Randy Savage. That's, that's pretty legit. All right, what's next? G-Force Guardians of Space. <sighs> G-Force Guardians of Space. We're going to have to circle back around to that one. I'm sorry. Okay. What's next? I'm not going to be able to pronounce this. Soul of Chogogan Robots? Soul of Chogogan? Chogogan? Um, they're talking about some Japanese stuff there. Let's take a look. Let's see if we have some, some Soul of Chogogan. Um, I'm not sure. Again, um, you know, really a Henry question or a, a Trevor question. But you know what? We're just so busy serving dozens and dozens and dozens, hundreds of customers actually, uh, if you count the online ones, um, that we're just too busy. So I'll have to get back to you on Chagokin. G.I. <laughs> Joe, uh, Sky Striker. Sky Striker, yes, we have Sky Striker. Um, those are definitely on DallasFinishToys.com unless you wanted like a maybe a reissue one, which, so like for example, here's like a 50th anniversary um, Sky Striker. So if you want like this really cool uh, black Sky Striker 50th anniversary, we got that. But I, I know what you want. You don't want this one. You want the original, the OG um, Sky Striker, which we have on DallasFinishToys.com. I think I saw one out here. We had a customer buy one in the box earlier, actually. Just came and went. So you missed a box Sky Striker. But if you want to check out our G.I. Joe selection of all of our cool vintage stuff, definitely hit up DallasFinishToys.com. What's next? Jason the Wheeled Warriors. Jason the Wheeled Warriors? I'm not sure. We'll have to circle back around to that one. Sorry, that's a DallasFinishToys.com question. All right, next. Crystar? Crystar. Um, again, I'm going to have to pass on Crystar because I'm not sure. Um, anime Imports? Anime Imports. we got a lot right this way. So Anime Imports is sort of like a growing segment here at Dallas Finish Toys, which is to say that this is something like in the last two years we've been getting a lot more and more into. Uh, Sean, the owner Sean, uh, it's not his thing. He's not into it. Um, but uh, Henry, our manager uh, here, uh, is into it. Um, he listens to him. So if you look around, we have a lot of cool um, Bandai figures, uh, some some Grandista figures, um, and some different, um, you know, uh, Funimation kind of stuff. So Dragon Ball. <laughs> Dragon Ball, My Hero Academia. Um, we have a bunch of those figures. If you want to look at... Um, just any of our SH figure arts from Sailor Moon uh, and all these other various different ones. These are all imported from Japan. Uh, and then right here in the front, we have some uh, One Piece stuff. Uh, we've got more Dragon Ball Z stuff, super popular. We've even got some Gundam stuff um, and different statues. There's some uh, One Punch Man uh, down there uh, that you might need. Just cool new stuff that, that you may not have. Um, plus we have even more Dragon Ball stuff. This is not imported. Let her look at that. This whole, our whole import section is this whole sort of end cap here. So as you can see, we have quite a bit. Um, and we also have some more notable items on DallasFinishToys.com. What's next? Lobo DC Toys DC Multiverse. Lobo DC Toys DC Multiverse. How specific? How very, very specific? Lobo. Lobo. That's a motorcycle riding DC character. I'm not sure where he's at. We'll have to come back around to Lobo. I feel like that's a yes on that one. I feel like we have that, but I'll have to come back around to that one. What's next? Robotech. Robotech. Um, right over here. Let's look. Not there. This way. Let's take a look here. We have some Gundams here. There's some Voltron. This. Oh, here's the Soul of Jacokin. <laughs> Sorry, just circle back around on a question we were asked earlier about the soul of Chagokin. Like, oh, there it is. So this is like a masterpiece uh, edition. 
uh, Voltron combiner. This is just gorgeous. So uh, you get a bunch of these different figures and they, they come together to make this, you know, really sweet robot. Um, I didn't realize we had this. So this is what he's talking about. It wasn't Godzilla. So only $379.99. That's less than $380. We got this in stock now. So there's the Solo Chagokin um, Voltron. And then here's another Solo Chagokin um, Dragon Zord. So um, we have a bunch of different super nice robots. Okay, but that's not what they asked for. They asked for uh, Battletech. Robotech. Robotech. All right, this way. So sometimes we have Robotech. It'll be hiding over here with the other robots. And Jared is looking. There, Jared is not finding. No. Ugh. Okay, here's one. Ta da What is this? Okay. So um, here is a, um, this is Robotech uh, VF-19A. This is a Japanese figure. It's pretty cool. This is $79.99. Those things are super popular, especially the Masterpiece ones, but those um, all seem to be going at the moment. Yeah. We have a lot of third-party Transformers in stock. That's cool, too. What's next? Silverhawks Copper Kid. Silverhawks Copper Kid. That's definitely going to be a website item if we have it. Silverhawks. Um, do we have any Silverhawks in stock? We have some carded ones on the website. I don't know if we have Copper Kid, but we have probably our 15 carded ones. Yeah. So, again, if you want to sub, uh, check out our 15 selection of Silverhawks, head over to DallasFinishToys.com where we definitely have them. What's next? Legacy Power Rangers. Definitely right over here. <laughs> so for example um we have a large selection here um here's just a legacy thunder megazord which is uh which is super cool so if you just like you know large robots or toys for a shelf or whatever we got lots of those kind of goes on and on um you know here's a limited black edition legacy dragon zord which that's you know pretty sweet so it's 11 inch tall with a you know big tail and everything it's cool it just depends what you like, what you're into. But we have lots of that. Um, the limited black edition Legacy Megazord. That's really, really sweet. I might need that. I don't need it. My wife will kill me. It's okay. Um, so we have a lot of stuff here. Um, all around. Vintage, uh, vintage as well. But you can find more on our website. What's next? Toy Biz Spider-Man. A Toy Biz Spider-Man. Toy Biz Spider-Man. This way, come on. This way. This Toy Biz X Men. This has been kind of organized a little bit over here. I like this. You can actually see. This has been a little bit of the random aisle over here for a while. Um, I don't want to shoot down Toy Biz X uh, Spider Man because I think I've seen them, but I'm not seeing them right now. But that's not, that doesn't mean a hard no. But we just need to move on. So what's next? Solomon Grundy from Justice League Unlimited. Customers, just look. You got a lot. It's a lot. So many. So many. Must be lunch time. Right. So Solomon Grundy. Solomon Grundy. Um, I think we have that, but I'm not sure exactly where it's at right now. So we're gonna move on for a second. All right. What's next? Kids figures. Kids figures. Yeah, I'm just not even gonna take that one. Any toy could be a kid's figure, unless you meant something else, which in that case, I need you to elaborate. Next question. Uh, Canadian MOC. Canadian Masters of Canada, MOC, Canadian MOC. I think they might have, I need you to rephrase that one. How many viewers we got? 53 right now. Okay. Right. Well, this is worth it. As long as there's 53 people watching, oh, he meant worth it. Kiss figures. He corrected it. Oh. Kiss figures, not kids. Kiss figures. Kids. Yeah. Oh, not kids figures. Oh. Auto correct. <laughs> oh, why did you say so? Um, he said he said ultimate kiss. Just kiss. Just kiss. 
seen these. Might be around here in the front. Oh, uh, what do you all go for when you're on this hall building? Oh, yeah. She wants to know how much that pink greener is. Oh, it's not blue. It's a sign. I found this earlier. Someone was asking about Captain Planet. This was not even on the website. Uh -huh. okay. Here's a, a hoggish, hoggish greedly. Uh, because my kids wouldn't want that, but it's, it sprays water, which is cool. Oh, look! I rocking a pager back when I was a teenager, but uh, I was born in the 80s, so I didn't come to So here's a kiss figure, and also you just found a Toy Biz Spider Man, too. Nice. Which they were, uh, they were asking for. Uh, yeah, so so I, knew, I knew we had it somewhere. So here's some different Toy Biz Spider Man stuff that we have. Um, I think that we have more. I told you that we had it somewhere. And then, if I remember correctly, there should be Kiss right over here. But all the, um, I just walked the uh, 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 so, right. uh, yeah. so, like, for example, I wouldn't know what to Paul Stanley, uh, McFarlane, Paul Stanley, his hair's so looking scraggly. See, the thing is, guys, Canadian what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to get your car and come here and dig around. But instead, you're on Facebook Live, and I'm digging around for you. Um, so here's, here's a McFarlane Peter Chris, which is cool. Um, we have, I mean, we just have, we have so much stuff, guys, that even we surprise ourselves, to be honest. There's many times that we forget. <laughs> It, the MOC was mint on card. Canadian yeah, Kenner I, mint on card. But I know it's mint on card. But oh. what, what mint on card? Oh. Canadians? Canadian Kenner. Oh, Canadian Kenner. Again. So you're talking about Canadian Kenner Star Wars? Like, we gotta, again, we gotta be specific. Mint on card, I know that. Canadian, I get it. But, in, but what? Kenner what? Kenner made mini toy lines. So let's just get one more level of specific here. Okay, what's what's the next question? Wonder Woman? There's She-Ra, not quite Wonder Woman. We do have a lot of Barbies, also not quite Wonder Woman. We do have, this is cool, this is a Batman uh, v Superman movie masterpiece Hot Toys Wonder Woman, which is pretty cool. And then you have the Wonder Woman uh, movie, training armor version, movie masterpiece there. So we have a couple of different six scale Wonder Womans. Those are in stock here. Uh, Batman v Superman 2 $19.99 and uh, tra training armor Wonder Woman origin movie two thirty nine ninety nine. I think that's it, except for maybe we have um, super friends or you know, super powers, sorry. So if we look, not here, mm, they reorganize this, not here, maybe not there, there's a superhero, there's a flash, these are some super nice toys in here by the way guys, some of these toys in here are just ridiculous, like seriously ridiculous. Yeah, I don't see, uh, there's not a Wonder Woman in here that I can see, but there is a turtle blip, which I'm going to touch it again because I want this in my life. I don't know what I'm going to do to earn it, but this is one of the coolest toys of all time. This is the Ninja Turtles, um, the, the turtle blimp, or as some people call it battle blimp, and this is uh, brand new in the box, still sealed in the box, and this is a CAS 80 grade. This is about an $1,800 toy. And uh, in this condition, graded like this, and this is beautiful to even see in the box, but nice and graded like this. This is now on DallasRangeToys.com, and I'm not going to touch it because it's even more expensive, but the Technodrome up there is $3,000. So between those two items alone, looking at five grand. That's a lot of toy. All right, what's next? What do we got? Simpsons. Oh, Simpsons. Not in here, but over this way. <laughs> Not here either. Boom, 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 bo
So we have a few Simpsons figures here. Boxing Homer. Here's a uh, Millhouse and Radioactive Man. Pen Pal Mr. Burns. We got a Pen Pal Mole. Um, we've got a Simpsons Homer up here. Uh, a mini, mini dancing Homer Simpson. Needs some new batteries. Also, we got Movie Marge there. And we probably, if I know Sean, we probably have even more on DallasFansToys.com. All right, what's next? Is that it? Star Wars MOC. Star Wars Men on Cars. Yeah. Well, that's a huge, that's a, that's a, that's a giant question. That's a giant. So let's just show you a little bit. So here is a ton of modern Star Wars in the box. I mean a ton. So this is probably, you know, 100 something items uh, right here. We just want to show... Uh, all of this over here in the next row we have even more star wars so uh, again another hundred something items these a lot of vehicles uh different 12 inch figures uh stuff that's you know 15 20 30 years old here uh we'll come over here on some of those facebook groups and see how we have uh, vintage here in the case so a lot of cool uh vintage stuff that's still in the box if you want to show inside of this case here so here's a bunch of beautiful um, Star Wars, and if you really want to see like the like the showstopper, then right this way, please. <laughs> so just show um, all these, and so this guys, if you want to get real close, this is all on DallasFinishToys.com. So we have an incredible. Uh, just an unbelievable selection of mint on card graded vintage Star Wars. Um, and we have every variation that you can imagine. Uh, different colors, different styles, uh, all the way from 1977, all the way through, um, you know, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, Ewoks, Jawas, you name it. Um, four inversions, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Power of the Force, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It just goes on and on. We have a ton and ton and ton of vintage Star Wars, and that's probably the most popular thing that we buy, sell, and trade here. What's next? Transformers animated toys. Animated toys. Isn't every Transformer animated? I guess they could be saying not the movies. So, um, like, for example, I, I, I'm not sure exactly what they mean by that. Um, but, like, for example, like, here's a beautiful graded uh, Skylinks. This is just Jim, Jim Mint. Um, that's uh, on the website. Also here, unless we sold them. So like, for example, I get in there and show them the grapple. So there's a G1 uh, graded grapple. That's also on the website, DallasFinishToys.com. If you come over here, I'll show you some of our uh, ah. animated series. Sean just gave up on the show. He doesn't even care anymore. All right, so we're going to go so back. we're buying so no, It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, Sean. I'm good. This way. <laughs> so you go ahead and just show them, you know, all four <laughs> rows of this. These are called Transformers, sir. Oh, there you go. Sean, just look, Sean, Sean's back in the... <laughs> hey, he's back. Okay. So to show um, all bought. four of the different rows here. And we just Jared, have, how's this still here? I don't know, Sean. People just, don't like Ghostbusters. Yes, they do. Yes, no, they, they do. Don't. Yes, no. they do. And they're going to... Ghostbusters 3 is coming yeah, out. They don't like Boulder Hill. They do. They don't like the compound. No, they like all that, Sean. What they don't, they don't like, like is driving match. to a creepy industrial park on a, on a Thursday morning. In Guess what? We're moving up. Bigger. All right. <laughs> so, and we have a lot more Transformers here. Uh, different modern stuff. Some reissue stuff. Some third party. party. We just got a bunch of these. These are cool. Things. These little cassettes. These little I cassette things. Like sound. Oh, They'll transform into little animals. Those are cool. Toys are cool. They are cool, man. They are cool. All right. Um, so we got a lot. Uh, we just got in this. This is a, what, a, re a reissue Devastator. This is pretty sweet. There should be a sound wave somewhere, unless somewhere I go. Uh, sound wave right next to it. Oh, okay. There should be a star scream as well. Yeah, right next to it. You got yeah, Optimus Prime. You got the whole well. set. All right, that's enough. It should be Optimus What's Optimus next? Prime What's next? DC Classics, Mattel, CNC. What we did, it's going to be over there or on the website. The DC stuff. So oh, okay. Uh, to the right. 
That's uh. To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. Here's DC, here's DC. Now by, now by, now by. Right into the car. Nice. That's the last of all Legos. Uh, what, which which were they asking for specifically in the DC universe? Uh, we'd like to buy more Nothing Legos. specific. Guys, if you've got something to bring in today. Yeah, someone just bought most of our Legos up here, so. Well, we've been ha we've so had we great deals. We had great deals. This whole time we've had, we've had, oh wow we just got cleaned out. Anyone's cool. got any that they want to sell today? I've right. got some, but I don't want to sell them. You've got till the end of the day oh, today. To build this <laughs> yeah, but you got specifically till four. There we go. Really you've got till four o'clock. Okay, guys. I get it. I get it. Thank you. Bring them in. No, I, are they still sealed? Them. We'll only buy oh, yeah. sealed. Yeah, they're sealed. We'll only buy sealed, guys. Yeah, We're negotiating a hard deal. <laughs> I'm not selling you my Lego Ultron. I'm not doing it. No wonder your Lego is. We want Everyone else. Where is it? Give us something that hasn't been sitting on a shelf for two years. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm not selling you my Millennium Falcon. What's on? I have it. <laughs> An aluminum Falcon. Are you right. <laughs> no, I'm scared. Jerry keeps all the quality stuff. He he brings us what is it? Uh, scraps. Scraps like those SNES games. Oh, those are really good. Someone wants them somewhere. Guys, <laughs> it's one sold for a penny. Really, really. You could use it as an ice scraper. All right, so uh, we did. What's up? Thank you. What's the next question? There? Cobra Bat Vintage. Cobra Bat Vintage. Yeah. Uh, I think we just have accessories. Those sell really quick. Yeah. We he we brought them on. Next. Marvel Legend Magneto. Marvel Legend Magneto. Uh, no. 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 <laughs> Say it. <this> <laughs> no. Say it. No. Say no. It. No. 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 <laughs> Fire. All right, what's next? Battlestar Galactica. Yes, on the website. Yes, SouthVidgeToys.com. Next. Category, Battlestar Galactica. Batmobile Corgi? Corgi Batmobile. Uh, I think we have two on the website yep. in the box. Two of them in the box, SouthVidgeToys.com. Thundercats. Oh! Let me. Uh, you think you're gonna say? So I did just recently list some. Uh, they, the, some of the ones I did list got bought pretty quick, but we should still have a few on the website. Okay. So I think we have the Sword of Omens still on that case down there. People don't know how to look down. Show me the Sword of Omens. I think it's still over there. Unless it got moved. Right there. Okay, show me. Uh oh! Oh! Right down there. Right oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, what about shooting? Yeah. Right down there, a little sword of omens there. A little plastic swordy. Okay. Okay. okay, what's next? McFarland DC. That's a Henry question. A McFarland DC? Or are you saying McFarland DC? Okay. That's yeah, it. McFarland, when we visited New York Toy Fair last year, they picked up the rights to DC. Oh, McFarland DC? Uh, not yet, guys. So we got those on order. Yeah, they're coming. They're not here yet. Next. And we will go to New York next week yes. to see what's the hold. Yeah, so, and that's, uh, let me just drop that. How many people got watching? 50, 60? 75. 75. Okay, so next week, uh, Sean and I and Henry are all going to New York City for the New York tour. Ah! <laughs> I'm bringing the talk, boy. New York City? Um, so we're going to New York New City. York City. We're going to New York City. I'll bring my cowboy boots and next, next week for the New York Toy <laughs> Fair. And uh, there's going to be a lot of cool uh, live video, cool content. So make sure, especially next week, that you're watching our Instagram channel. Next Saturday. And, uh, yeah, Saturday. That's, 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 the, that's our, the big day. Uh, business day. Yeah. Every Tell other day we're going to be um, uh, doing other things. All right. So. Lost in New York. <laughs> DVT. Lost, lost in New York. I feel like. Yeah. I'm just going to gonna get lost. I'll be lost in translation on the import booth. I'll be like, Brrr. yeah, <laughs> just, <laughs> I'm gonna get that. Brrr. All right. So what's next? Dragonfly box. A dragon fly box. A dragonfly box. GI Joe. Uh... Oh wow. She Sean speaks dragonfly. He's like... Vintage, I know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Excuse me one moment while we look that up for you. He's outside looking for dragonfly. <laughs> He's gonna pull up on the website. <laughs> Uh, we have two loose complete ones. There you go. The box one sold already. All right, so if you want a loose complete vintage G.I. Joe Dragonfly, we have them on DallasVintageToys.com under the G.I. Joe section. I had one when I was younger. I had one when you I was did young. I did. Okay. What's next? Star Wars Black Series. Right behind right you. Right behind you. And we got... 
three man. Yeah. No, we already saw one Mandalorian. We, we got two, two left. We have two Mandalorians left. All right, so just get in here and let's just do a big scrolly. Just come all the way over. A scrolly. Of, a scrolly. Lots of big black series figures. Lots and lots and lots of that good, good, that new, new. We got some of uh, some of the coolest stuff that you want to see. Some of the uh, multi box kits, exclusives, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And we even have a couple of the Mandalorians that are everyone is after. Hit us up, slide into those DMs. All right, what's next? Um. Battery still work. Sounds fine. Justice League unlimited action figures in stock, looser carded. There's Justice League right there. I can read. Mm hmm. Uh, we got more DC stuff yeah. hanging, so we might have some loose. Yeah, there's stuff around. Next. Why is it that most vintage toy stores don't carry vintage Redline Hot Wheels and vintage Gianni Lightning Topper? We had some up front, but they sold them because we priced them cheap. I think we have two cars left, and we have a bunch of box matchbox on the website. Yeah, we, so, we, we're very selective when we do buy those because we want them to be pristine or cherry because a lot of the time they come in, the wheels are bent up or they're a lot dinged up. And, um, I mean, if they're in bad condition, we only sell them for like five to ten bucks. Yeah. So we try to get them where the paint's actually good. But we will buy them if they The best way in. I can explain to you guys is, like Sean was saying, is that a lot of those toys from the 60s and 70s sometimes are in really poor condition, especially they've been in a toy box for 50 years. And we're more of a collectible store than an antique store, if that makes sense. So we're not the kind of place you're going to come in and just buy like an old Tonka truck that's like literally been in a backyard for 40 years. That one's still new in the box with the receipt. You see what I'm saying? So like, exactly. This is a, per that's a perfect example I just made up. So this is the example of a Tonka truck that you get from us. Here, you were going to get, you're going to get, and this is, this is a, a, an, Ur an Earl truck, but, but the example is the same. Yes, we will carry that product, but we're going to carry it if we can get it brand new. We're going to carry it if we can get it in the box. I mean, we've had some nice Tonka, like, 50s um, cattle cars. But they're, they're in good, but they got to be in good shape. Those, some of them even were in the box. Right. So that's so the kind of stuff that we're going to buy and that we're going to have here. A bunch of 50s and 60s robots yeah. still in the box. So some of you guys, you'll go shown. to these antique shops and you'll go to these little places at flea markets and stuff and they'll have... You know, we don't like putting broken, stuff. but they'll be like rusty or, or, or broken, and we're not going to do that. We'll just pass on those toys. So that kind of stuff comes to us, guys, every week. Every week, people are trying to get us to buy uh, very, very worn toys. We generally pass on that because we know that you, the collector, you want a very good uh, example of what it is, and that's a, a, one of the big reasons you why don't we don't want have to sure. Yeah, yeah, you want something that's nice. So you so, worked hard. So we don't waste our time to even buy something that isn't nice unless it's, unless it's especially rare or a prototype or something like that. All right, what's next? X Men from the nineties. Loads, loads, hello. Loads. I know we have a lot in storage saved mm -hmm. up for the next location. We have some on the website. We have some on the, on the cards over here. We used to, I think, a lot. Of we saw them. The, those were uh, uh, toy, toy biz X Men, right? Here's some. Oh, they're over here now. Yeah. So we do have some over here. If you want to come in here, that's what's left over there. Then we have some on the website, and then more will be at our next location because they're currently in storage. So we have we have some here in stock. Now look for a huge resupply of this this summer. Um, I was with Sean uh, when we got a lot of that collection he's oh, talking geez. about. Yeah, it was me. Um, and that's fun. That's. Like Sean was saying, he already forgot. Uh, yeah, forgot he, he already forgot. He, and he said while he was buying it, I'm going to forget what I bought. You know, we're and still bringing did. stuff over there. One storage unit is, you can't even walk in. The other okay. one, 90 ish yeah. percent full. Guys, this summer is going to be the summer of Dallas Minutes Toys, the new store. Um, this is going to be something that you want to book a flight in a hotel to come see. We're going to build something really special for you guys. Um, it's just sort of the evolution. This store, when we got it a few years ago, was a drastic leap forward compared to the old store. And Dallas Beach Switch 3.0 is going to be a whole double drastic leap even from this. Um, and we will be the largest toy store, dedicated toy store in all of North Texas, period, um, as of this summer. And that'll be super fun. No, no stress or pressure. Thanks. Yeah, no pressure. Thanks no pressure. Me. Yeah. Me. Five times the size, five times the rent. All right. So what's, yeah. <laughs> uh, what's the next question that we have here? <laughs> three-inch Mandalorian. A three-inch Mandalorian? Be like Jim Curry. The three three quarter inch one? No, we don't have that. No, no three quarter inch. I haven't seen those. that. But we got the. Guess what? We, we Sean's the... bringing his credit card to New York, and he will. He's got to max it out. 
What's next? Star Trek action figures. Sorry, sorry. No problem, no problem. Sorry. Star, Star Trek action figures. Um, we have a bunch on the bed, my God. I think they all beamed up to the, to the internet. <laughs> Yeah, a lot in storage. Oh, we have so much in storage, remember? All the Star Trek stuff we Yes. Bought? Here, but who wouldn't want this? But we have a lot more. Uh, Golden uh, Enterprise! We probably have, what, like 100 pieces in storage? Yeah. Yeah, we could build a whole, we could build a whole row of vintage. Shoot, shoot, Set phasers to stun. Done. We're gonna stun them. All right. What's next? We had a few asked about transformers, just in general. We've just been showing them. Listen, we got a lot of transformers. Someone get the phone. Get the phone. Oh, it's a Star Wars. Oh, it's a, it's a Star Trek phone. Yeah. Phony, leave me alone. Um, a game. A Star Trek game. Wow. This is this is great. I know Jerry's gonna buy that and play it. Nope. All right, um, but we have a lot of Transformers, guys. Make sure to hit up our website, DallasMinnesTorts.com. What's next? Uh, Batmobiles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one over here. Ooh, ooh, we've got an Adam West Batmobile. Is that metal? Uh, RC. Remote. I'm sure we have several on the way. Control. It moves in all directions. Ow. <laughs> oh. Oh. And then we have the 40 <laughs> Batmobiles on the left side, too, from previous. And then we have the, in storage, we have the bat sled boat still in the box that you can put in the pool. Yeah. So buy that. Wow. <laughs> all right, what's next? How many viewers we got? Hey, there's 62. A, there's, 62. There's a few bat Wings up here, one, two, three. Bat wings? Up there in the ceiling. there. Alright, what's next? Super 7 Reactions, Sorceress. Maybe. Negative? Maybe? Sorceress? Maybe. Maybe. Super 7 Reactions, Sorceress? Sorceress. It'll be over here. There we go. So there's the reaction figures right there. Oh, I just heard Super 7. <laughs> See the uh, murder man? Should be in there. We might not have her. So, let's see what we got. That's a Henry question if he needs to restock. <laughs> but we will definitely be seeing them in New York again as well. Okay, what's next? Marvel Legends Deadpool and Marvel Legends War Machine, specifically Hulkbuster. Marvel Legends Hulkbuster? There's a Deadpool. Right Wasn't there. that a builder figure? Yeah, yeah BAF Hulk We don't yeah. have one at the moment. We got some Deadpools. We got some War Machines. I think there's more Deadpools on the website. There's some War Machines right there. Yeah, we have two War Machines that I spotted. There's the Punisher War Machine. So, and then there's the War Machine from in, uh, from uh, Infinity War. Yeah. yeah. Couple cool ones. Oh, okay. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it died. Yeah. Okay. 1970 Megos? 1970 Migos. Migos. I'll just turn that thing around. Yeah. We got them over here. Crockpot. Picking up a good buck. It's the wrong Migos. We got some Migos right here. We got some, we got a few of the Star Trek ones right here. And then we have uh, plenty more on DallasMinnesTorch.com. I just listed, uh, or I'm about to, uh, Superman. Migos. We got some right here, too. We got a few right here. If you can see on the corner, there's a little Spider-Man on the bottom corner, hiding just like every little spider does. <laughs> but yes, plenty more on DallasMinnesTorch.com. Okay, what's the next question? I feel like we have 10,000 questions. <laughs> Do you want to take that out? <laughs> Almost at 9,000. Do you want to take that out? I can help you. Here, take it out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it died. I don't, like, I don't like my ambition. All right, so let's keep going. Go bots. Gobots! With the Transformers. Or on Dallas News Toys. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, little Gobots, eh? Yeah. Like uh, there's a mix of them. I think there's one right here. There's giant one, leader one right there. Um, there's another small one. I guess someone got it. Yeah, there's, there's just mix. There's mix of Gobots up here. There's a few. There's a little, a little red one right here. 
little red fire truck and an orange fire truck next to it. Behind it, there's a couple more. Just uh, just a few, but then we have uh, we have more on the website, DowVintageToys.com. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, what's next? Super 7 Commemorative Series. Super 7 Commemorative Series. Uh, hi. Hello. Hey, how are you? Can we have them over? Yeah. Are you excited for next weekend? It's going to be lit. All we have is the... Uh, I'm coming. Okay. Oh, so don't is worry. It, uh, is it a oh, thing man. Commemorative of Hebrew? They didn't say. Did you say? Um, no, all we... The yeah, commemorative... I think we have is just like these... Where it looks like the old like He-Man cartoon, so you know the kind of Super Seven stuff we have is those and and like these right here and the reactions that we showed a moment ago. But yeah, that's about it. So what's the next question? I believe that's it right now. That's it right now so far. Ghostbusters just came in. Ghostbusters. <laughs> oh, someone asked about Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have. I think we have. That's okay. Ignorance is bliss. I wish I knew less. They would be over here, but I'm not seeing any at the moment. But oh, here we go. Here's the firehouse. Here's the firehouse right here. And I think we have another on the website, downsvintagetoys.com. And do and we do have more loose of the uh, characters on the website as well, downsvintagetoys.com. So yeah. It was um, Masters of the Universe Super Seven Commander of Series. Oh, the even Masters of the Universe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I figured you meant that. Uh, no, all I see is the, uh, the, the any kind of commemorative. I don't see them. All we have is just the ones that I pointed out. So, yeah, that's only Super Seven He Man's that we have at the moment, sir. Or man, who arrested? <laughs> uh, Marvel Select. Marvel Select, right here. And we got a bunch of Marvel Select right here. Fix these, <laughs> make it look nice. But yeah, we we recently got in some Marvel Zombie ones. We got. Marvel Zombie, uh, Marvel Zombie Sabretooth right here, which is pretty cool. We got Marvel Zombie, I think it's my favorite one right here, the Marvel Zombie Hulk. This one's pretty nice. Yeah. And we got Marvel Zombie Magneto and Spider-Man. We don't have Captain America. That's the one we're missing, but yeah. Here's, there's just plenty more, so. Yeah, and there's some more on the website as well, DallasVentageToys.com. Uh, 118th or 112 Fodder. What was it again? One eighteenth or one twelfth fodder. One eighteenth, one twelfth fodder. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. I understand that question. I apologize. Um, um, Red Skull and Iron Man suit. Red Skull and Iron Man suit. Oh, a red Iron Man. Um, I think we have it on the website. Let me see if we do. Give me a minute. Yeah, Iron Skull goes in there. Iron Skull. Give me one second. So we'll no, we do not, unfortunately. Um, Any question? Next question? Carded Motu Vintage. Carded Motu Vintage. Uh, we have a few. Uh, yeah, we have like, I think like a handful on the website, DallasVintageStores.com. No, not here. So. WWE Wrestling Retro Figures. Uh, yes, we have some over here. We have... It's like it's a mix of there's some of the retro ones in here, and then and then most of the modern ones mixed with it. But the actual, I think the older ones would be over here. If you come through here, the hallway with the shirts that we sell. Here's the actual old ones right here. Here's the original ones right here, and we do have uh, plenty more, and we have the giant. Like the giant uh, ten inch uh, rubberized wrestling figures on the website dollsvintagetoys.com. All right, I think it's about time to wrap up. It's about time to wrap up. Listen, <laughs> guys, we could talk all day, we could play all day, we could do it your way, like Burger King, but we can't because listen, the truth no is, way. we have ten thousand something items in the store. We have like twelve thousand something items on the website, maybe even more than that. We have another ten thousand items in storage. Listen, we got a lot of toys. So here's here's the end. Here. Hasta la vista, baby. Oh! We should just like end there, but we're not because I gotta say something to you. The whole point of this live stream and for us putting out content on Facebook, I'm gonna be very honest with you guys right here, is to get your money. That's why we're in business, okay? So we want you to buy toys. We want to sell you toys. We will entertain you for free on Facebook, but in exchange, we need you to head over to DallasFinishToys.com. You need to make a purchase today, okay? 
Now, if you don't have the money today, we're going to let you get back to work. So maybe you can have some money tomorrow. But we're going to need you to come to DallasFinishToys.com. Uh, I'm going to give all of you viewers something we got watching. 60? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So all 60 of you, I'm going to give you about 36 hours to make some purchase or another on DallasFinishToys.com. If you live in the United States... Um, and you spend more than $100, very easy to do on our website, we'll give you free shipping. We're going to get it to you. We ship fast. We ship securely. We bubble wrap it. We put it in the foam, little Cheetos. We'll take care of you, okay? So visit us online, dallasfinishchoice.com, or if you're in North Texas or in the area or you can ever get here, please come by our store. We're open six days a week. Very easy to find on Google, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, or 24-7 DallasFinishToys.com. My name is Jared. You saw owner Sean and Trevor Duke uh, and a cameo appearance by Henry. Uh, we all love you guys. We'll be in New York Toy Fair next week broadcasting live and getting exclusive content on Saturday. So stay tuned to our social media for that. We'll see you soon. And keep us on your news feed for more toys direct to you.